get your finger in the way. That's a lot of power. The teeth bites with a lot of power. And you almost never bite your lips. It's like walking on an eye beam across the Twin Towers. Will you do that? You got me, you got me any mind in there. You fall off. So you would, you would never put skin next to, your, next to the biting of your lips. Never have it. And, and you never bite it. Almost never bite it. You got a pimple that sticks out. Almost never bite it. Almost a chesed Hashem. And teeth itself, without teeth. Once Rabbi Miller went to the dentist. They told the dentist, told the dentist you saved my life. And they looked at him, and they're not going to look at me, make yourself silly. He said, yeah. What kind of life would I have without teeth? So he said, what was talks about? People had enough teeth, they couldn't live. You know, had to have someone else chew you to have blenders. You had to have someone else chew your food for you. It was some life for us. We have teeth. We have to thank our Kodesh Baruch, we have teeth. We don't have to wait to pay something to thank our Kodesh Baruch. People don't have teeth, can't eat, have trouble eating matzah. They have to eat matzah now for the eyes. It's not fun. And we have it. It's a wonderful thing. We have taste buds. I mean, you can just think about the chokhma, the chokhma, the chokhma, the chokhma, everything our Kodesh Baruch was there's what to think about. You don't have to go travel around the world to see it. You just open your eyes. They said to Rabbi Miller, did you ever go see the big falls? And the Agro Falls. See the wonders of our creation. I see that on my doorstep when I go over my front step in the house on East 52nd Street in Brooklyn. Sees all those wonders. You just have to open your eyes. That's all you have to do, open your eyes. Next paragraph. Page Pay Hey. Sheifa neshama who liros b'chush. The tzarich ledas you have to know. Shakor b'chush. Shonim v'da'avram all that. This that we're talking about to get a, a real perception. What we're talking about of of Hakadosh Baruch of the greatness, the chokma, his wisdom, his power, and his kindness. Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Shekei zehu ikis sheifas v'sipa kaneshama. That's the most. That's the the main desire. Of the Nisham. It's the goal and the desire of the Nisham. She came to the Torah. We find the Torah. Shemoisha ben Ubikish. Shemoisha ben Ayas. Hareini nos kvaydecha. Show me your glory. Asher achur temur. What does that mean? Shel achas shekvaro kokacham ben Isil. Moisha ben Ubikish. He saw it all. What did he see? Kaomad al Hasinai mem yoyim. Yeah, on top of everything, he for 40 days he was in Hasinai. He didn't, he didn't hear anything over there. He was up in Shemayim, like a Malach. What does he want to see? And the we see from over here. There's no end to the Bikush, to what one could be yearning to recognize the great, the great, the Chochma and the Koychoy and the Tuvoy of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. But also a little, oid oid, oid, he wanted to see more and more. At Kama Sherak, as much as possible for a person to see why he's still alive. He importuned and he asked the Kodesh Baruch Hu, let me please go over there to Israel and see. What do you want to see there? He wanted to see with his own eyes the benefits of the, the benefits of the land. Why? Why? To see another chesed of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, to see it, a tangible chesed of Hashem. Every time you see a tangible chesed of Hashem, you think, oh, thank you, thank you, you have to be a Baruch Hu. It's raining outside. What a chesed of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. They're talking about now that in New York, the water I heard this week, they said that the reservoir is already 10 inches below where it should be at this time. We enjoy the warm weather. We are doing that, but there's flip side to it. No rain. And now when it rains, it doesn't come down in one... Like a guy puts under a shower without a shower head. Like under a shower without a shower head, the water coming down in force. It knocks us off our feet. It comes a nice mist, nice sprinkle mist, wonderful thing. The whole the grass is watered. It's good. You're walking outside, you don't even need a raincoat. Just on the car, you need a windshield. You see, you need a wind. You know it's raining because you see in the lights of the car. What a beautiful, fine mist. And then when it rains, even when it rains, raindrops doesn't come down in the pluch in in the, in the, in a, in a way that we can get knocked off your feet. Have a heavy shower. My mother should live me well. She said she, she tried, started changing. She didn't say anymore. It looks threatening outside. I say threatening on a shim's rain. Nah, that's a negative thing. She said, it looks promising outside. <laughs> <laughs> see, see the chesed. You always, always look at the chesed. 
They did it. Oh, it's raining today. No, it's a ches. Hashem is giving. We have him for that. Mashiv ruach moira geshem. It's not. It's raining. Hashem is bringing down the ches of Hashem. He's bringing out the eskim. Saint Alamot to the brach of eskim for that. V'chein on loim ki kai Yisrael ki kai Yisrael amru. We see kai Yisrael also said. Our desire is to see our king. So much so, by that he to be warned and be careful. He said, extra warning. They go down and tell the people, Ben, they shouldn't break through. Show this show this they shouldn't come close to Asina. But we're talking about some simple people. That was an accident. Everybody wants to watch the accident. It was nosy people. What are, they, what are they expecting to see over there? What are you doing there? Yeah, I can't help. <clears throat> well, they just want to see. They want to just transgress. Just because they're nosy, they're going to transgress the transgression, this, this prohibition. No. This is the main desire of the Neshama. To see and to recognize. The more you see, the greater your desire for it is. Someone is satisfied with a little bit. He doesn't have this desire to see Hashem and His greatness. He became materialized and his mind became stuffed because he became accustomed to it. There's many psukim in the, in, the, in the scriptures that describe this, bring out this desire to get that, that real that tangible perception of our, of our Creator. When you see something and you study it, it'll come to a point when you see a nose on someone's face, I see HaKadosh Baruch I once was talking to my father, she rest in peace. He's talking about HaKadosh Baruch says, if you see two people married, that's clear, that's clear, you see Hashem. How can two people get married? Two people, why should they want to get married? How can they stay married? How can they be together? It's Hashem. He saw Chos and Kala, he saw two people married, right? He saw Hashem in that. He studied that. Now, by nature, why should we want to get mad? I want to tie myself down to you. What do I, what do I need this for? That's a question. Yeah, that's it. Rabbi Miller used to see things. He studied it. And when you see, once you study that Bechina, you reflect on that, only Hashem. You see that, you already get the feeling of Hashem. He used to keep apple seeds in his pocket. What for? Because when he touched it, when he touched the apple seed, he was touching a Pesach in Chumash. It says, Hashem Zarei Boy, the seed of the apples in the apple. And the mino, it's an apple pit in the apple. And in the apple pit you have it's a whole factory on how to plant apple trees. And you can plant apple trees. It's a factory, a mixed factories. So apple tree, it's a that's what it was. So when he touched it, he trained his mind. And that is when you touch that, you're touching the Mitzi Islam goes wrong. That's what it's all about. And the dogma one part will end up is an even sedek. When I wake up, I want to see your feet, your 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 I'll become satiated when I see your form. Boyd Kay the Sabbath. We'll end just with this one point, Scott 945. Wish everybody success. Thank you for coming. Thank, Thank you, Dad, for organizing this. More good friends with this.